Everybody ready for the checklist? Good. This is Mr. John Towsend. John is 55 years old and uh, unfortunately John had a carcinoma of the colon removed about three years ago. Now has a metastatic deposit in segment four, five, and eight. And unfortunately this looks like it's uh, going to involve the cava, so we may have a, we may have a real challenge today. Um, and uh, the extent of the liver resection will depend on what we find at surgery. So uh, this, this may be fairly complex. So first of all, we have uh, Helen uh, giving the anesthetic today. Uh, Anne is circulating. Uh, Steve is here perhaps if we need uh, perfusion. And Jennifer is uh, scrubbing, of course. And uh, you all know Karen, who's our clinical fellow. Uh, no problem with uh, informed consent, uh, the incision being marked, and uh, the appropriate patient information. We happy with that? Yes. Good. Sterility indicators and the marking of sites and so on. Are you happy with the anesthetic and the ASA status? ASA no? 3. Good. Okay. Patient's allergic to Demerol and penicillin. And uh, we, uh, it's going to be very important. It's going to be about an eight-hour operation. So we've got SCD and TED stockings. Yes, the stockings are on and, and working. Good. Uh, we have the display of the CT scan, which clearly shows the problem we've got. And hopefully we can deal with it. Uh, antibiotics given, Helen? ANSEF was given 10 minutes ago. We didn't have a preoperative biopsy because the patient actually had a, an elevated CEA and with the history and the radiologic findings, there's not much doubt about the, the diagnosis. Blood availability, and We have four units of fridge ready blood. Great, thanks. Now, the major problem here is going to be whether or not we can get this off the cava. And if we do uh, have a problem with the cava, we may have to reset cava, replace cava, and so on. And we may have to go on bypass. So, uh, Steve, are we all right with perfusion? Sure. I'll assign a perfusions to the room and have a pump on standby. Okay. Any other problems that anybody has? Just one other thing, Dr. Taylor. That the family's waiting upstairs in the waiting area. If we could keep them informed as to the progress of the case. I did promise them that I'd uh, keep them up to date and call them probably about three hours in just to let them know uh, how things are going. Great, thanks. Any other problems that anybody has? Great, okay. Let's scrub. Thanks. 